Here we are guys, um, this is for my fourth graders out there, they're doing the Van Gogh project. Um, I started something and uh, an example and I wanted to do kind of a better example for a larger class. So I decided to do one here at my house, just trying something here. And uh, I want you to see the difference, the, some of the changes that I made from the demo that I gave you in class. Okay. So what we got here is basically the same thing, right? We've got one, two, three, four flowers, right? And then I'm gonna put another one in right there. Um, but I'm gonna do that in after I paint this stuff in. So I'm not gonna try and make it more confusing by painting, you know, all the different directional spaces of the, the flower petals, it just, no. So I'll just add that on top, right? So I have it kind of mapped out kind of how I want right and all I'm doing is putting in this blue color in the negative space here that's the only thing I've done right and here's the fun part so I'm gonna have to get some more paint here but here's the fun part you know is you go and you kind of it the paint almost dances right it just kind of dances it goes where you want it to go hand and your eye work together. Okay. Let me just look at this again before I start a little more. Take a second. Don't need to rush it. Get a little more paint. So right here is when the leaves and this one starts going back in this direction. So instead of painting inward, right, I have to go around, right? So I have to start going around these, right? Yeah. Take that down. I'm having a hard time looking at the camera and my painting at the same time. Oh, whoo! Oops, you look at that. I went too far. I went past it, didn't I? I was going to stop there. I didn't. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Don't care. Figure it out. All right. Get this in a position. Oh, oh I need my, my flashlight. By the way, if you're fun with these flashlights, they are amazing. My God. I'm telling you. What is this? Guardsmen. Look at this thing. It's huge. So bright. It's like if you're lost in the desert, you could survive if you had that thing. The heat it puts off. No, I don't know if it puts off heat. I don't know. I don't want to say something bad about it. I really like the flashlight though. So, how am I doing? Painting, filming, and talking about flashlights at the same time. How am I doing? I'm doing okay? Great. All right, so you can see kind of where we're at, right? Okay, so I have to decide here where exactly it is that I put in the stem for this one. I don't know if it was right here or if it's supposed to be more rounded or if it came through here. Yeah, I bet it came through right there, didn't it? Oops, sorry, right there. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. You know, trying to decide what is the background and the foreground. That's sometimes where, where people get, get tricked up at. And maintaining that is, is difficult. It really is. Trying to, you know, always understand, you know, which, which lines you're on. Positive or negative and you fill it in the right way. But many times I've done something completely backwards. All right, let's see if I can do this. Ready? 
I got the brush in my mouth. Paint one hand, brush my hand, filming, and painting. Oops, where am I at? Painting. Painting. Gotta have fun, right? <sighs> you know, one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was to watch Bob Ross. Seriously. What, Bob Ross and Grizzly Adams, like, I think it was every Sunday morning. Stay at my dad's, get up. Dad makes some, some breakfast. And we'd watch Grizzly Adams. Let me watch an old Bob. It might have been the other way around. I'm not really sure, but we watch those two every night, every every week. Okay, so now I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit here. All right. So this is just this is just to fill in a color. Okay. So what I, what I like to do is I put in a a, uh, a coat of acrylic on there first. You know, I kind of like that. That's a mistake right there. I kind of like that. I might leave that in. I don't know if I do it to the other side, if I leave it as a design move. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to think about this for a bit and try and uh, figure out kind of what's happening in here because this seems rather long right in here right so I'll have to figure that out I'm gonna take a few minutes but uh, there will be a part two to this video stay tuned <laughs> 